Hello, this is Amir Hussain from Sunny2.com and in this video we will discover the admin area of PrestaShop. In this free course, we try to teach you all various options and features of a standard PrestaShop installation. We will explore all the settings and features to show you the true power of PrestaShop and also its bugs and lack of features in some cases. By default, PrestaShop has one theme and 100 modules and you can still install more themes and modules to fit your needs and expand your shop. But first, we need to get to know the admin panel of PrestaShop. Only then can we customize our shop the way we want. Step 1 is to connect to the admin panel, aka PrestaShop Back Office. PrestaShop Back Office is the name often used to describe the administration panel of a PrestaShop store. You will spend most of your time in this panel as everything that the user sees is handled directly through the back office. Adding, editing, removing products, handling carriers, building packs, creating vouchers, keeping contact with customers and improving your shop. As I mentioned in the first video of this course, the name of the admin folder has to change. If we don't change it, PrestaShop will change it for us the first time we visit that page. This is done for security purposes and is one of the nice features of PrestaShop. This action is not that easy in some other scripts and in some it's not possible to change the admin folder name. So everyone will know the address of your admin panel. Here with PrestaShop, you can change it anytime you want to anything you want. Now, if you remember your admin folder name, use it to access your shop. If not, just go back to your hosting panels, file manager, public HTML, and see the admin folder name. Then just add it at the end of your domain, just like this, and press enter. You will see the login page for your back office. Enter the email address and the password you registered with when installing the PrestaShop. Check this box, stay logged in, and click on login button. Congratulations, now you're logged in to the back office of your shop. This is the dashboard page of the back office, and from here we begin to configure our shop and sell products to our customers. Now let's get to know the admin area. Let me start with the top bar. Here, in the top left corner, you see the PrestaShop logo. Clicking on this will take you to the dashboard page. Next to it is your current PrestaShop version. Then the quick access menu. As you are going to spend most of your time in your back office and may need some pages more than others, and there is no direct access to some pages from the menu here, you could add those pages to quick access. Let's say you need to add a new photo to the slideshow module every day or every week. Instead of going to the modules, module manager, then searching for slider and clicking on configure you just click on a link in the quick access menu that takes you to the configuration page of the image slider module how to add a link to the quick access menu just visit that page and from the quick access menu select add current page to quick access name the page image slider and click ok here you can see the result image slider. You could always manage your quick accesses by clicking here, manage quick accesses, add new quick accesses, edit current quick accesses, or delete one. You can also set each link to open in a new tab if you want to, just by clicking on this red cross when it turns to a green check, it means if you click on that quick access it will open in a new tab. Next. Is the search field. This lets you search for anything in your back office. Just type and press enter. On the top right corner you see some icons. This one here takes you to the front office in a new tab. The bell icon which usually has some numbers on it is for your store notifications. The new order, customer and message notifications will show up here. This trophy icon is for the gamification module of PrestaShop. It's a basic module that tracks your progress in configuring your shop and has some suggestions for you. In the beginning you may find it useful, but we are going to cover every option and feature in PrestaShop so you don't need this. You could always disable or uninstall this module especially when you publish your site to the world. We'll talk about installing and uninstalling modules later in this course. Let's get back to discovering the admin area. The last icon is your profile menu. Here there are two main links. Your profile, 
and sign out. The other ones are links to PrestaShop resources and help center. By clicking on your profile, you could edit your account information, first name, last name, email address, and password. You can also change your default page. This page will be displayed just after you log into your back office. If there is more than one language in your shop, you can set your own default language for the back office. For changes to take effect, click save. And obviously, the sign out link will log you out of the back office. The menus. While working on your shop, you have to browse through the pages of the back office. In PrestaShop 1.7, the menu has been categorized into three main sections, from the pages you use the most to the ones you use less often. Dashboard is the home page of your back office, where you see some details and live statistics of your shop. Sell. After you publish your online store and start selling products or services to customers, this section is where you go each day to get your business going. Catalog, customers, orders, customer services, and stats are the main menus of this section. Every one of them has some sub-menus, which we will cover later one by one. Orders. Once client place orders, you will see a list of orders, invoices, credit slips, delivery slips, and also shopping carts. You can see if the shopping cart has converted to an order or it's just abandoned. Catalog. This is the heart of your shop, where you will add product, create categories, set up brands and suppliers, define discounts and other related activities. Customers. Here you can access all the information about your clients and edit their addresses. Customer service. Where you handle customer service and anything post-purchase merchandise returns and order messages stats this menu gives you access to all the statistics that are gathered and generated by PrestaShop modules on your site some of them are very useful and other are just using up your server resources especially if your website traffic is high we'll go into the details of this subject later in this course improve in this section you will find everything to customize your shop from managing modules and the look of the front office to payment methods shipping and localization modules here is the page to install update configure and in some cases uninstall a module more than 100 modules are available by default and you can install as many modules as you need design here you can handle themes static pages the position of your modules on your theme and image settings among other things shipping everything related to carriers and shipping costs payment based on your target market you can choose your payment methods and set restrictions for each module based on currency customer groups country and carrier international helps you customize your shop with local values such as language and translation currency taxes and tax rules regions countries etc it's a piece of cake to make a PrestaShop website multi-language with a click of a button all the necessary content for a language and a country will be imported. Estates, taxes, currencies, languages, and units. You also have the option to add a custom currency to your shop, let's say Bitcoin. Configure. It is divided into two sub-menus. The first one is your shop parameters. You'll find here all the settings you need to configure when you launch your shop. Once you made your initial choices, you won't go there very often. The second menu can be seen as a technical section with more advanced settings that aren't used often either. Shop parameters. PrestaShop is a very configurable e-commerce solution and you can edit just about any of its behavior using these full featured preferences, orders, products, customers, and SEO. Advanced parameters. This menu contains links to tools and informational pages that are too specific to fit in other menus, such as the web service settings, the database backup tool, or the performance page. This is also where are the settings about the back office itself like managing employees' accounts and their permissions. These are the default menus and some of these menus are further divided into pages with tabs that you need to pay attention to when you're looking for something. For example, if we go to the shop parameters general, here you see two tabs, general and maintenance. And each tab has a different set of options. The buttons. Many of the backend pages use buttons, either at the top or at the bottom of the screen. The available buttons vary a lot depending on the context and therefore two different pages might not feature the same set of buttons. Still, there are a few that you often see. Add new opens the creation page of the current context. New products, new product category, new order, etc. Recommended modules and services opens a pop-in window containing the modules available in the current context. Not very useful in my opinion. Help. 
opens the inline documentation for the current page for contextual help. Many of the back office forms are validated with buttons at the bottom of the screen. Save saves the content of the current page and returns to the list of existing items. Save and stay saves the content of the current page and keeps the page open. Cancel returns to the list of existing items. List of products, categories, customers, etc. have their own set of buttons to manage the listed items. Add new creates a new item in the current context. Export downloads a CSV file of all the items. Import sends you to the CSV import page from where you can import your CSV file. Refresh list reloads the list of items to display the latest changes. Show SQL query provides the SQL query to reproduce your search or filter in your own SQL manager. Export to SQL manager opens PrestaShop SQL manager tool menu in advanced parameters from which you can query PrestaShop database with SQL statements. And the last part of this video, dashboard itself. As I said before, here is the homepage of your back office. It can feel crowded to a first time user, but in a few minutes you'll see that it's not. If you click on this icon under the PrestaShop logo, you will have a wider page. You still have access to the menu, but only with icons. And if you click on any menu, the sub menu will show up like this. Now there are two main parts in the dashboard, the date bar and the stats. By default, the dashboard uses demo data so that you can better visualize what the stats are for at the beginning. When using PrestaShop for a real online store, you must disable the demo data so that your real data is used. Deactivate the demo data option on the top right corner of the screen next to the help icon. But here we leave it enabled so I can show you some data. At the top of the dashboard, there is a single bar that helps you choose the period of time for the currently displayed dashboard statistics. Three sets of options are available. Current day, month or year, the previous day, month or year, and a precise date selection. To choose a period of time, choose the start, and the end date just like this or type in the date here with this format year month and day you can fill up the from and to fields and if you want to compare this date with another date you could check this box and click on apply to see the changes on the right column there are some links to PrestaShop resources on the left column, you see some data from dashboard activity module. Stats like online visitors and active shopping carts in the last 30 minutes, pending orders, return on exchange, abandoned carts, and out of stock products. You also see new messages and product reviews, customers and newsletters, and stats related to your traffic. In the center column, there are three sets of statistics, forecast, product and sales, and dashboard. The forecast from the dashboard goals module. By clicking on this configuration icon here, you could set your goals for the coming month. For example, January, I expect a 3000 traffic, a 2% conversion rate, and a $90 average cart. And the sales column is calculated automatically based on these numbers. Set these numbers for every month and click save. With every sale, the data here is updated. If you exceed a goal, or do not reach the goal, these bars will show you exact numbers. Remember, only validated orders will be counted. This data is only for your information and does not affect the behavior of your shop and sales. Next one is product and sales statistics from dashboard product module. This block presents you with a table of your latest orders and a ranking of your products best sellers, most viewed and top searches as searched in your shop search form, not from search engines. And finally, the main block of information on the dashboard from the dashboard trend module. It shows sales, orders, cart values, visits, conversion rates, and net profit. How does it calculate the net profit? It's an estimate based on the fees you enter here and the configuration page of this block. Here you can set fees for each one of your payment and shipping methods. In the other settings block, you can set an average gross margin percentage. As mentioned here, this value is only used to calculate the dashboard net profit. There is another field here for additional fees per order and if you want, you can fill that up too. Click save and go back to the dashboard. Then the approximate net profit will be calculated based on your sales, wholesale prices you enter for each product and the fees you entered 
just before. And if you hover your mouse over this chart, you see some details. That's it, you're now more familiar with the admin area of PrestaShop 1.7 and hopefully can find your way through it.